All right, hey, Lieutenant Christensen here. Just wanted to pass on a pretty simple mnemonic that's helped me learn the general orders of this century. And as we know, it's not so much just remembering them, it's being able to recall them at different times. That's kind of the trick. And so I developed this pretty simple 10 finger way to remember it. And yeah, it's a little bit silly maybe, but what works works. And so what I've received, I pass on to you. Uh, maybe that way. So it just, like I said, involves your 10 fingers. Kind of the background behind it is I noticed when I was trying to remember them that one and six have certain similarities, two and seven, you can kind of do two finger things with them anyway. Three and eight involve some kind of violation. So you got the middle finger there, not giving that one to you, chaplain, moving on. Uh, you've got that four and nine, they're calls. So imagine, imagine a phone pressed to, to my ears on that one five and 10, you're saluting somebody, uh, 11 watchful eyes, off you go with that. And so the idea here is if you remember them based on finger location, maybe it sticks a little bit better as you're memorizing the wording and all of that. And so here we go. So number one, first finger right hand to take charge of this post, this one. I'm taking charge of this post and all government property in view. So to take charge of this post and all government property in view. So there you go on that one. Uh, the second one, you've got your walkie fingers to walk my post in the military manner. And then you turn them into I'm looking with eyes. So walk my post in military manner, keeping always on the alert and observing. A-O-A-O, -A -O, keeping always on the alert and observing everything that takes place within sight or hearing. So keeping always on the alert and observing everything that takes place within sight or hearing. For the third one, uh, you're imagining someone someone giving, flipping you off, like giving you the middle finger. On um, number eight, you're giving them the middle finger. So hey, I guess turnabout's fair play. But number three, if someone gives you the middle finger, you're thinking that feels like a violation. So I'm going to report that. So report all violations of orders I'm instructed to enforce. So I'm reporting all, all violations of orders I'm instructed to enforce. So there's a violation there. Number four, uh, it's call, but you're, you're repeating it. So I'm just gonna turn my hand out to repeat all calls from posts more distant from the guardhouse in my own, from, from, helped me. So there you go, to repeat all calls from posts more distant from the guardhouse than my own. Uh, number five, you're going to salute. Let's get it up there. So to, to quit my post only when properly relieved. So we're quitting it. See ya. Um, thank you, sir. That sort of thing. So to quit my post only when properly relieved. So I'm saluting on that one. Uh, you go over to the next, next hand. Number six, first finger left hand, right? So five, six. Here we go. This one's the, the big beefy boy, but uh, we, we can get it, right? So, so number six, I'm going to, to receive, obey, and pass on to the century who relieves me. So I'm, I'm receiving something. So just point to yourself. Yep, all right, yes. So receive and then obey, right? So I'm, I'm receiving it and then obey. I'm just pointing to myself. If you're, you know, jacked, you can point to your bicep, however that works, but, but I obey. I'm the one that's gotta, gotta do it. So I'm receiving something, I'm obeying it, and then I'm passing on to the sentry who relieves me all orders from, and then there's that big list, commanding officer, command duty officer, officer of the deck, and commanders, uh, officers and petty officers of the watch only. There it is. Uh, to, to receive, obey, and pass on to the sentry who relieves me all orders from commanding officer, command duty officer, officer of the deck, and officers and petty officers of the watch only, only. So that's the way it works. So receive, obey, pass on the sentry who relieves me all orders from commanding officer, command duty officer, officer of the deck, and officers and petty officers of the watch only. Got that seven. Take two fingers, put them together to talk to no one except in the line of duty. Told you, silly, but hey, it works. To talk to no one except in the line of duty. Talk to no one except the line of duty. And off you go with that one. Uh, number eight, back to back to the middle finger. 
but this time I'm just giving it to you and you're alarmed by it. <laughs> Other time it's a violation, you're alarmed that I, a chaplain, would give you this. So here you go. I'm going to give, give the alarm in case of fire or disorder. I thought it would be uh, in the case of um, to, to, to give it. We make sure, yeah, to give the alarm in case of fire or disorder. So to give that alarm in case of fire disorder, number nine, oh, you don't push it out. That's repeating something. Just number nine, I'm going to call the officer of the deck. And this time I imagine myself in a suitcase or a bunch of them because it's any case you're in. So any case, but it's covered by like a big old piece of paper or something like with instruction on it. So to call the officer of the deck in any case, not covered by instruction. So I'm going to call officer of the deck in any case, any case not covered by instruction. Got that number 10 back saluting. This time you're, you're saluting something, but you're doing it with the wrong hand. My bad, but involves all four fingers. So I salute all officers and all colors and standards, not case. CSC, colors and standards, not case. Salute all officers and all colors and standards, not case. Number 11, you've got those, those watchful eyes. So uh, to be especially watchful at night during the time when stuff goes down, right? Be especially watchful at night. And during, now you turn them into clocks on, on a, or hands on a clock. There you go. So be especially watchful at night and during the time for challenging, during the time for challenging. And then hold on to that word challenge to challenge all persons, all persons. So all persons, and imagine a post right here, right? And there's someone who just jumped on my post to challenge all persons on or near my post. All right. So to challenge all persons on or near my post and to allow no one to pass without proper authority. I'm imagining those doors, bat wing doors, I think they call them, where they just, they fly open and they're floppy, old Western movies or whatever, um, the saloon. All right, so you, you've got that to allow no one to pass without proper authority. Yeah, I got it, got it. So to be, to be especially watchful at night and during the time for challenging, to challenge all persons on or near my post and to allow no one to pass without proper authority. There you go, there you go. Uh, and yeah, with that, you've got the, the 11 general orders of the century. Hopefully that helps you. It helps you with the recall. I mean, someone says, hey, what's number eight? You're going, hey, I'm, I'm giving you, giving that and your alarm. So I'm giving the alarm in case of fire disorder. Or number three, let's go on the other side. I'm gonna report all violations of orders I'm instructed to enforce. Or you got two to walk my post in a military manner, keeping always on the alert and observing, AOAO, always on the alert and observing everything that takes place within sight or hearing. Oh, what's number one? To take charge of this post and all government property in view. Oh, what's number 10? To salute all officers and all colors and standards, not case, CSC on that one. Uh, what's number seven? Right. Well, to talk to no one except in the line of duty. Got you. What's number nine? Ah, to call, to call the officer of the deck in any case not covered by instruction. What's four? Ah, to repeat, to repeat all calls from posts more distant, from the guardhouse in my own, from, from on that one. What's six? To receive, obey, and pass on to the sentry who relieves me. All orders from commanding officer, command duty officer, officer of the deck, and officers and petty officers of the watch only. All right, so hopefully that helps you. I know it's helped me get them down and at least feel like I'm in a better place to recall them when needed. And uh, I'm sure that's mostly important or most important when I'm actually on watch uh, like you. So hopefully this helps. I'll see you out there.